Welcome back to the Wildlife Garden Project. Today we're going to be showing you how you can help hedgehogs in your garden. Now hedgehogs are in decline in the UK, so we're going to show you a few simple things that you can do to help. The first thing to think about is hedgehogs need to be able to get into your garden. So if you've got fences all the way around your garden, no small mammal is going to be able to get in. So as an easy solution, just create a small five inch hole around the bottom of your fences and get your neighbours to do the same. Because the idea is to get a wildlife corridor going through all of the gardens. Because hedgehogs need on average about four or five gardens in order to survive. But the ideal thing of course for hedgehogs is hedges. It's really easy to provide perfect habitat for hedgehogs. All you need to do is just be a little bit untidy. So things like dead leaves, dead vegetation, just take, put it in a pile by the hedgerow or in a quiet corner of your garden. Because all hedgehogs really want is somewhere quiet to hide, to sleep and to hibernate. And another great habitat as well is compost heaps. But just be careful if you have got one, if you turn it over with a fork, make sure you be careful so you don't stab any of your prickly residents. A hedgehog's natural diet is all kinds of invertebrates like beetles, caterpillars and juicy slugs and worms but it can be really helpful to put some extra food out for them. Cat and dog food is the best, it can be either wet or dry. Try to avoid fish, tripe and beef flavours. Chicken and turkey is the best thing to go with and jelly is better than gravy. And hedgehogs hibernate between November and March so if you do see a hedgehog out during this time it's a great idea to offer it some food because you may very well help it through the winter. The best way to make sure that all the food you put out for the hedgehog doesn't get eaten by the neighbour's cat is to provide them with a feeding station. You can buy these ready-made from shops or the cheapest and easiest way is to use something like this. All it is is a plastic box. We've cut a sort of five inch hole, a hedgehog sized hole into it here and we've just covered it with a bit of gaffer tape just so there's no spiky edges that could potentially damage the hedgehog. We've got a selection of foods here. We've got some nice meaty chicken and jelly, some meaty biscuits, and some fresh water. And when you're positioning your feeding station, this side here, the side with the hole in, have that about five or six inches away from a fence or a hedgerow, and then only hedgehogs can squeeze through and position the food at the other side of the box so that a cat can't get its arm in there and pull it out. There are a few potential risks you need to be aware of in your garden if you've got hedgehogs around. If you leave things like barbed wire or chicken wire mesh around, a hedgehog can potentially get entwined in it and can be very dangerous. If you've got a pond as well, make sure it's got a gentle sloping ramp coming out of it or sloping sides. So if that hedgehog does fall in, it can get back out again. And never use slug pellets because the very chemicals that make slugs die can make hedgehogs really ill. And in any case, if you've got a hedgehog around, it should do a good job of eating the slugs anyway. And finally, if you've got long areas of lawn and you're gonna strim it or mow it, always check for hedgehogs underneath first to make sure they're not hiding in there. And bonfires, similarly, hedgehogs often stay in there because it's perfect habitat for a hedgehog, a big pile of sticks and logs. So always, always, always check underneath your bonfire before lighting it. So if you take these few simple steps towards helping hedgehogs, you may have some hibernating or even raising their young in your garden. And they will reward you by keeping your slug population under control. But not only that, but you should get some really fantastic nighttime viewings. Mm -hmm.